Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through each and every setting of the Galaxy S23 Ultra's S Pen. And this is the part 2 of a two-part series video. In the first one, I explained all of the features of the S Pen and now in this video, we are gonna check out all of its settings. So if you are new here and haven't watched the first video, I would suggest that you do. I'm going to pin the link to the first video down in the comments. So without wasting any time, let's start. Alright, so to access the settings for the S Pen, all you have to do is open the air command menu and then tap on the gear button. And there you go. So in my previous video, I explained that there are two parts to the S Pen, the remote control and the stylus. And the same thing applies to the settings. The air actions and the anywhere actions is the remote control part. And using these settings, you can configure how the remote control feature works. Like you can change what the phone does when you press and hold the button on the S Pen. By default, it launches the camera, but you can change it to anything you like. But I would recommend that you leave it on camera. Now these gestures correspond to the navigation icons at the bottom of the screen. So if I press and hold the button on the S Pen and do the back gesture, that takes us to the previous screen. The home gesture takes us to the home screen and finally the recents gesture opens up the recents screen. Now there are two more gestures available. Doing this bottom and up gesture opens up the smart select screenshot tool. And if you scribble the S Pen, the phone will take a screenshot and allow you to write on the screenshot that it has just taken. By the way, you can customize these. You can just tap on a particular gesture and select something else from over here. And you can even configure this to launch a particular app. So now that we have selected Snapchat, if I press the button on the pen and scribble, that's gonna launch Snapchat. So you can configure these last two according to your liking. So moving on. This next setting under app actions lets you enable or disable the remote control feature for individual apps. And secondly, it also allows you to change what the phone does when you perform a particular gesture. And I would recommend that you leave it as it is because everything is already properly configured. You've also got app actions for the applications that are not listed above. For example, you cannot see Amazon Music here, but the media gestures listed here actually work in the Amazon Music app. So using the S Pen, you can actually control the Amazon Music app, which is awesome. So all of the items listed under Air Actions are a part of the remote control feature of the S Pen. Alright, so moving on to the next set of settings, this part allows you to customize the air command menu. So using this setting, you can customize how it looks. You've got two settings, standard and compact. But if you really want to take things to the next level and have a super awesome looking air command menu, then you will have to download the Pentastic app from the Galaxy Store. And this is gonna unlock additional styles for the air command menu. As you can see, it's got a really nice selection here. And not only that, this app also allows you to change the S Pen's pointer. That is awesome. So you must download this app if you've got a Galaxy Note or the Galaxy S22 or the S23 Ultra. Okay, so coming back to the settings. Next, you can add and remove the shortcuts that appear in the air command menu. This is super easy. I don't think I should be explaining this. So moving on to the next one, here you can switch the air command icon on or off. So switching it off will remove the little pen icon that appears on the right side of the screen. So now you may ask, how do I launch the air command menu without having the icon over there? Well, it is very simple. Hover your S Pen over the screen and then press the button. So that also launches the air command menu. So even though the button is cosmetic, I still like having it there. And this last setting lets you switch off the ability to open the air command menu by hovering the S Pen over the screen. And once again, I suggest leaving this on unless it is something that annoys you. So that is it for the settings for the air command menu. Now let's move on to the next set of settings. And these settings deals with the air view component. 
So what is AirView and what does it do? Well, first off, AirView enables the pointer on the screen. So whenever you bring your S Pen up close, you will notice a little pointer. And secondly, you might have noticed that when you hover your S Pen over certain items like your albums and photos, the phone will give you a preview of what's inside. And secondly, you can also scroll using the S Pen by hovering it over the edges of the screen. This feature can be super useful, yet sometimes it can be annoying. So that is why you've got the option of tweaking this feature. Changing this to pointer only disables the preview and scrolling with the S Pen feature. And changing this to previews only will disable the pointer, but it will leave all of the other features enabled. So the preview feature and the edge screen scrolling works, but the pointer is hidden. So the choice is yours. I prefer having both of these on because they are super useful. Next up, we've got S Pen to text. And this is a super awesome feature that lets you write on the screen and the phone automatically converts your handwriting into text that you can send. That is super awesome, right? So you don't even need to use the keyboard, just use the S Pen to write something. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you do, you'll be able to use this flawlessly. And the best part about this is that if you make a mistake, you can just cross out the text like this and it will get deleted. So this is Backspace. Additionally, it also puts up a little toolbar with the option of adding emojis. You've got your space key, backspace, and this opens up the keyboard and the enter key. So this is a super awesome feature. And the setting here lets you enable or disable the S Pen to text feature. Oh, and by the way, this S Pen to text feature only works if you've got the Samsung keyboard selected and enabled in the settings. The next setting deals with what happens when you take the S Pen out. And you all know by default the phone opens the air command menu. And using this setting we can change this to create a note. So now when you take the S Pen out the phone will create a blank note for you to type or draw something. And then you have the option of do nothing. So if you have this selected, now when you take the S Pen out nothing is gonna happen. You know what, I'm gonna keep this on do nothing because sometimes the air command menu gets in the way and you can always open it by tapping on this pen button. When you take the S Pen out while the screen is off, the phone activates a feature called the screen off memo. And this feature allows you to take notes without waking the phone up. In my opinion, this is a super useful feature and this next setting allows you to toggle the screen off memo functionality. My suggestion is to leave it on because it is super useful. When you press and hold the button on the S Pen, then tap the screen twice, the phone creates a new note. And this feature is called Quick Note and you have the option of switching it off from over here. Now let's go into the more S Pen settings because we've got a couple of them here. And the first one is my favorite because this will let you unlock the phone using the S Pen. So you guys know that the phone locks itself when you leave it idle for a couple of seconds depending on your lock screen timeout settings. And you have to enter your pin or use the biometrics to get back in. Now if you enable this S Pen unlock feature, you can unlock the phone just by pressing the button on the S Pen. So there you go. That is awesome. And this works only when you have the S Pen in your hands. If you lock the phone and then take the pen out and try to unlock, it will not work. So you have to unlock the phone first and only after that if the phone gets locked, you can unlock using the S Pen. So it is pretty secure. This next feature enables you to use more than one S Pen on your phone. So you can see that the original S Pen is inside the phone. And here I've got the S Pen from my old Galaxy Note 9. And as you can see, it works just fine. So this feature is going to be super useful if you've got a spare S Pen lying around. Although enabling this feature will use slightly more battery. Now, when you remove the S Pen from the phone, you might have noticed that it shows connecting for a brief second. This is because the S Pen uses Bluetooth low energy to connect to the phone so you can use it as a remote. 
It takes a fraction of a second for the S Pen to connect to the phone but sometimes it fails to connect like in this clip. So if you want the S Pen to be always connected to your phone and have a more reliable connection, you can enable the keep S Pen connected option. Then it will always stay connected to your phone even when it's inside. So as soon as you remove the pen, it's always connected, ready to go. But there is an obvious downside to this because Enabling this feature will use more battery, but it will make the connection more reliable. The next setting is quite crucial and I would recommend that you leave it on because this will remind you whenever you walk away putting the S Pen in your phone. So let's leave the pen here and walk away with our phone. And it's gonna show us that hey, we have left the S Pen behind. And there you go. So this is a super useful feature. And the last two settings controls the sound and the haptic feedback that you get when you remove the S Pen from the phone. And also the scribbling sound whenever you write on the screen. So if you don't like this, you can always switch it off. And finally, if your S Pen isn't working properly or refuses to connect to your phone, then you can tap on these three dots and then select reset S Pen and this will fix most of the connectivity issues and you can also connect the S Pen Pro to your S23 Ultra. Alright guys, so I think that covers all of the settings related to the S Pen. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'm gonna try and answer them. And once again, if you haven't watched the first video, I would suggest that you do. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to hack the algorithm. Share the video with your friends and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Tech Guy Charlie signing off.